Hello and welcome to my February art chat where I'm going to talk about all of the artwork that I made during the month of February. Um, it is all here except for one giant canvas that I'm still working on, um, but we'll talk about that as we go. Um, I have been doing, had been doing these art chats when I had aspirations of a thriving Patreon. <laughs> um, so if you look back on my channel, I've made all of those videos public. I think there's probably four months, maybe five months um, of art chats where we did this review and I really enjoyed it. And the few patrons that I had <laughs> really enjoyed it. So I thought I would resurrect those here, um, get them back up on YouTube and talk about everything that I made. Now I did recently do two sketchbook tours. So if you have seen those, some of this might be familiar. Um, but I still hope it's entertaining. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into it. Uh, so this is my Art Hang sketchbook. Um, I'll pop the, the card up for the tour of this uh, because it's pretty fun. So I didn't make any art on February the 1st, which makes me think I might have been working on an illustration project that um, for a client that I'm not at liberty to say who they are. <laughs> um, but it's, it's fun and they um, keep coming for work. So that's great. They like what I do. On February the 2nd, we had an art hang party and we drew people. So as is the way with art hangs and art hang parties, we start with two minutes. And for these ones, I was using a brush pen, the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen and Prismacolor Premier Color Pencils. And I think I probably used some Neo Colors. Um, so these are also two minutes. These are five minutes. You can really tell the difference between the two minutes and five minutes. More five minutes. Definitely more time for color and pattern. Seven minutes. I think of everybody who played along on Art Hang Party, this Barbie one was everybody's best. <laughs> um, and then a 10 minute. <laughs> and for whatever reason, when I draw people, I rarely ever leave room to draw their feet. So I added her feet over here. So that was the end of that sketchbook. And um, what I did art wise on February the 2nd. Now I have tags on <laughs> and everything. So uh, let's go here. So February the 4th, again, I don't know these missing days. So <laughs> I do typically do something every day, but I mean, it's still uh, a lot. So on February the 4th, I hopped on a train, a go train to visit my friend, um, Susie who moved into the burbs <laughs> with her boyfriend. So this is my view from the train window using um, brush pen and Prismacolor color pencil. Um, and then this was my backpack sitting on the seat in front of me and a Japanese cheesecake in a bag. <laughs> and then this is um, a single line drawing that I did of their kitchen, uh, which I love single line drawings using brush pen. And then when I was there, um, obviously I drew the kitchen while I was there. Um, my friend Susie and I did blocks of color and we had the intent of drawing houses on top of them. So I used watercolor in the background and then came in with color pencil on top to add all of the little details and everything. And by the time I got to this one here, <laughs> I was like, I was about done uh, with it. I think I did that. I, so I did these two. I, yeah, I, so I did some of these. But where you can see the ink, um, <laughs> Susie helped me finish those off. She didn't add nearly, she was smart. She didn't add nearly as many, um, like, boxes to, <laughs> to her paper. So, um, yeah, I, I was like, I don't even know how to make a house anymore by the time I got there. But, yeah, these were fun to do. Uh, February the 5th. I drew some people for my 100 people painting project. Um, although it 
to the, at this point is just drawing. I'm just sketching them using the brush pen and color pencil. Not usually Neo Color 2s, but these ones I had a lot of fun. Um, this is, I think, when I learned how to color jeans. <laughs> I really like how um, how those jeans came out. I think her as a whole, she as a whole, is great. Um, yeah, but really happy with how these people are starting to come out. I feel like I'm I'm finding a style with them, so that's great. Uh, so that was February the 5th. February the 6th, I decided... Um, I turned to Pinterest, so I get all my people references now from Pinterest. And that's like uh, a couple of times I've gone back into some um, old travel photos that I've taken. I used to do a lot of street photography, um, my little Fuji camera, <laughs> which is which is fun, but uh, I like drawing and painting more. So if you know we go somewhere, then I'll take my sketchbook instead of my camera, although sometimes I would still take it. Anyway, when I opened Pinterest, I saw this glass vase and I was like, ooh, maybe I want to try reflections on glass because that is not something I have very much experience with. So I got out my acrylic inks, uh, my Liquitex acrylic inks. And yeah, at first I loosely sketched it out. So I like drew in all of these different um, shapes, just straight shapes. And then I went from darkest shade to light a shade to fill it in and then went back and filled in the gaps. I think it, I think it, I think it was a successful method and I think it looks like glass with reflections on it. So pretty pleased with that. Uh, so that was February the 6th. Let's hop over into this, um, a little, these are art creations, Talon's art creations, sketchbooks. Um, and it was time for a, an art hang over on Sophie McPike, Sophie McPike's Discord channel. <laughs> uh, as part of her Patreon, I'm a patron of hers. Um, and every Tuesday, every Tuesday evening, um, Wednesday morning, Australia time, because she is Australian, um, a group of us get together and have an art hang. It's a lot more informal than an art hang party. We do it on Discord and... It's kind of more like a Zoom call than anything. And this day on February the 7th, um, Caitlin, who was there, she provided the reference photos. And they're all of Australian animals that she has taken pictures of in her backyard. So <laughs> she, lives in, uh, she lives in a forest somewhere near Melbourne. Um, and yeah, just imagine like all of these animals showing up in your backyard. So... Got some birds, a kangaroo, a little parrotlet or some sort of parrot bird. <laughs> this is like a giant iguana something or other. I don't know. Uh, another bird. For these ones, I was using oil pastel. So nice and messy and smushy. I don't know what this guy is called, but their feet go backwards. So I tried to <laughs> catch that. It reminded me of a porcupine, um, but not a porcupine. And then this is, I think this was a wallaby. And he had like this bright orange Donald Trump hair. So <laughs> I put, put that in. Um, and then this was a little, uh, I'm not even going to try to remember what the animal names are, but I did this one first and this was supposed to be a 10 minute drawing. Um, but I finished this one in five and I was like, I don't know what to do. So then I decided I drew this one based off of this photo without looking at the reference on the screen. So I thought that was fun. Yeah. Um, what's next? Come back over to this guy. We're going to jump like back and forth all, of, <laughs> all over the place. No more people. I started, when did I start the people project? back September. Um, so I started in September and then I didn't do them for the longest time. And then just recently I've started like if when I sit down, um, after dinner during art time, it's, it's one of, it's one of the things that I gravitate to now. So it's, it's fun. Um, and because the last time I did the people, I had so much fun with the jeans, I decided to stick with that <laughs> and, uh, do more people in jeans. Yeah, so that's what I did on February the 8th. On February the 9th 
it was Art Hang Party Day. Um, Art Hang Party is the one that I host on here on YouTube and over on Twitch. Uh, so this day we did still lifes. And these are the two-minute drawings. I was using color pencil and Neocolor 2s for, um, for this Art Hang Party. More two minutes. So when I pick my references for these, um, I try to make them so that they go from simple to more complicated and involved as the time gets higher. So these ones are five minutes, seven minutes. So you can see like based on um, my scribbles that the drawings or the photos would be more, uh, more intricate and complicated. Uh, seven minutes and then 10 minutes. And then after this art hang party, I decided to stay on the stream um, because I was getting close over on Twitch to becoming an affiliate, <laughs> um, which just means you have to stream for a certain number of hours and have a certain number of followers, and then you can start getting monetized. So I wanted to stay on to hit that the number I needed to get the month, and I did it. So anyway, um, I asked people which of these photos um, they wanted me to paint. So... This one was selected, so then based on the photo reference for this, I painted this. And I used gouache and some color pencil and Neocolor 2s. I mean, by this point, if you know me, you know that that's my go-to. <laughs> um, and then uh, to just kind of finish out the spread, I took this um, photo reference, which is something that I want in my house, this strawberry vase, <laughs> and, uh, and painted this. So yeah, I like that. I like this spread, and it was it was fun. It's always nice. Um, I don't know, drawing with other people. <laughs> I love it. Uh, what day was that? That was the ninth. I must have taken the tenth off. Okay, I'm not gonna. What is that? Oh, I missed one. Look at me. Okay. Let's pull up these guys. So back on the fifth when I said, oh, I mustn't have done anything. I did. <laughs> I did. Um, well, I think I did these a couple of days before that. Um, but these are some deconstructed birds, <laughs> which look kind of silly on, on paper. But I'll show you what I ended up doing with them. But first, I will explain what I've done <laughs> here and why um, everything is separate. So I took uh, watercolor. Um, first and just did the color of the birds just really I mean somewhat carefully but kind of loose just to make it you know watercolor make sure there's gradation in the colors and everything and then I used color a uh, black uh, color pencil to do the details so the beak the eyes the details the lines the feathers um, I mean you can you can kind of see how they how they fit together, right? Like if you just take this and pop it on top of that guy, you got yourself like a completed bird. <laughs> um, so what I did then is I scanned this page and took it into Photoshop, cropped around each one of these things and took it into Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and then I vectorized everything. And then I put it together, um, like layered everything appropriately and then made a repeating pattern with it which is quite fun um if you want to see how i do it with my process let me know let me know in the comments and maybe we can do a video that'd be fun that was loud okay all right um this day uh february the 11th we did ray and i did an art disco stream uh, I think it was on like a, a raid train, which is just uh, not just where, but where a bunch of DJs get together and coordinate their set times. And then the group moves on to the next and the next and the next. And we do our art disco as part of that. So he plays his house music and I make art. And I did this one based on a photo I found on Pinterest. I think it's somewhere in Italy. And... I don't like it. <laughs> um, I used a cold press paper for this, which I should have used a hot press. So cold pressed is the textured one and a hot press is smooth. And I knew full well I was going to come in with color pencil. And 
now I know if I'm going to use color pencil on this paper, I need to use the hot press style. So there's that. <laughs> Whoever wants it, let me know. I'm going to move into this sketchbook, which I started... When did I start this? June 2022. This is the Strathmore Mixed Media. Um, and... I haven't been using it. I was using it to do um, urban sketching in the summertime, uh, but it's been a long time since I used it, <laughs> uh, and I still have quite a bit of it to go. But it was a uh, art hang day over on Discord, and we decided to do some map crunch. So map crunch is like a Google Maps um, random pin dropper website and you just click a button and it takes you to a different spot in the world um and it's quite fun actually for uh for references especially for landscapes um and i decided to use watercolor which i've never used for the quick timed drawings before um really super abstract obviously you can see here and these are all two minute drawings um so instead of like increasing the time like we usually do we decided just to keep it uh, fun and fast. <laughs> um, and yeah, so these are all different places all over the world. And then this is the second, um, the second one that we, or the second page that I filled. And then these ones here, these were, um, this one here and this one here is a, a triptych. So that was the first two minutes. That was the second two minutes. And then that was the third two minutes. And what you can do is just um, on the screen, just kind of pan over so you get the next view and the next view. Um, and it's kind of, it was kind of fun. I, I, I like this and I am going to definitely do this um, watercolor and art hang again. Uh, and that is the end of that sketchbook for this month. So on February the 14th, I decided to draw more people. Like I mentioned, when I go to sit down to do my um, after dinner art times, the people project is um, kind of my go-to uh, at the moment. So there's that. And then also on February the 14th, that was a pre-art hang um, drawing on Discord. Is that true? Yeah, I feel like I'm a little, little bit out of order because <laughs> we just looked at the watercolor ones on here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This was an art hang with Sophie over on her Discord. Um, we did landscapes and I used color pencil and Neocolor 2s. So those are two minutes, same with the previous spread, five minutes. Rocks are hard. Rocks are hard to draw. <laughs> Uh, five minutes, this is a 10 minute. And then this is a five minute, more rocks. And yeah, that was that. Continuing in the sketchbook, I think that the day is in between, so that was the 14th and now we're on the 16th. I must have been doing illustration work and not in the mood <laughs> for um, drawing after dinner or I filmed the sketchbook tour. It could be one or the other. Anyway, this was Art Hang Party Day um, where we drew houses. So two minutes. I was using my brush pen and color pencils and some Neocolor 2s. Five minutes. Everyone seemed to have a lot of fun doing the houses, so I think we'll revisit um, the subject again. Seven minutes and a ten minute. And that is it uh, in this sketchbook for the month. And then we move to more people <laughs> on the 17th. This is when I went heavier with the color. Um, still using the brush pen. I'm not really a big fan of her dress and how it came out, but um, these two are fun. These two are fun. That was the 17th. The 18th, we had another art disco um, live stream over on Twitch on Ray's channel. 
and I drew this one. This is um, Dave, I forget his last name. He's from um, De La Soul, and he had just passed away very much around the time, like maybe the day or two or three before this. So I decided to go back to my art disco roots <laughs> and do uh, a music theme because recently on art discos, I've been not doing music theme and just kind of drawing my landscapes and stuff like that. Cause I feel more into that than um, this, but this, this was nice. And I do need to go back over the background with a fresh um, Navy Posca marker, which I use Posca's for this. Um, Cause obviously it's a uh, patchy. That one, that. Then, oh, on the 19th. Okay, I'm going to do this uh, talking thing <laughs> while I'm walking thing uh, downtown. Um, I just finished my meeting um, at the wine club, and it's a go. It's a go. So February 19th, I'm going to have a little art show, a little live art, raising the place of music. Um, there's gonna be wine, there's gonna be fried chicken <laughs> and champagne. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be like an afternoon of um, me being brave and showing my art and talking to people and painting in front of people. <laughs> um, it's gonna be fun. I will, uh, I'm about to go into the subway, so I will um, keep you posted. time let's continue on <laughs> on February the 20th um, I've had this idea in my head for a long time where I want to paint there's a park called Trillium Park in downtown Toronto which is about a 10 minute walk from us and it's along the edge of Lake Ontario and it's beautiful it's like wild natural landscape um, and I just uh, I love it there <laughs> I love it there and I want to I mean, I have so much paper, but I don't know if I want to do it large. Anyway, this is like the first rendition edition of the idea in my head. I want to paint. So there's these trails that, so you walk in here um, and then we usually like do this kind of loop here and then back out. Um, I want to paint like as you're, Walking through, I want to paint this side, 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 like from every angle, and then I want to put it together. I don't know how that's going to happen, but this is like a way that it can happen. Um, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It's a big idea in my head, um, and I'm excited about it. So maybe I just need to start small, and maybe this is the first step in doing that. So I uh, first I folded the paper and. I don't know if I cut it first. Maybe I did. Um, and then I painted I painted the park. Uh, hi, Pearly. Um, yeah, so my idea was that when you fold it up, it's kind of like you're walking through, but it's backwards. So, <laughs> see, it's backwards. It's like you should be, I don't know, maybe I, f I folded it wrong, but I want to make it so that it's like you're actually walking through the park as you're flipping through whatever it is anybody has any ideas on how i can better um illustrate that i'm all ears because <laughs> it's it's something that needs to happen uh so yeah help me help me 
anyway, I think it's I think it's cute. It's uh, I use watercolor and color pencil and neo color twos. So I don't often use that combination with watercolor, but um, I like it. Yeah, that's my little Trillium Park zine. Uh, that was the 17th. On the 22nd of February, um, based on a uh, Pinterest photo that popped up as soon as I opened up my Pinterest, <laughs> there's this oyster bar. I forget exactly what it's called, but it was in Wistable, which I think is somewhere in the UK. Um, so I decided to paint that. I used acry uh, acrylic ink and color pencil, Neo Color 2s. And then over on this side, I wanted something to match it, but I didn't really feel like investing the time in drawing another like storefront or house or something like that. So I saw this picture. This is also, um, it said, according to Pinterest, was in Wistable. <laughs> so um, yeah, I added that. And I think it's a nice little, I think it's a nice little spread, cohes cohesive spread. Um, uh, February 23rd, I did more people, but because I had basically only been drawing women, um, I decided maybe it's time I start, maybe it's time I start drawing some guys. <laughs> so I started pinning, um, some hipster men <laughs> to, cause I think they wear more interesting clothing, um, to my, uh, people board on Pinterest and yeah, I drew those using now my regular go-to brush pen and pencils. Um, and then also on the 23rd, I worked on um, another repeating pattern. So <laughs> this sketchbook, I don't think I've ever shared uh, this sketchbook. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, when did, I don't even know that that's a date. Uh, those are some hip hop. Um, quotes when I was into hand lettering you can see here I used to do a lot of like digital hand lettering if you scroll back enough on my Instagram uh, you'll see but this was when what paint is that oh I bought a really crappy set of acrylic paints from Michael's yeah they're <laughs> they're garbage but that's cute that's cute that's cute uh, so this was in 2020, October 2020, the acrylic paints, um, De La Soul. So that's uh, from like redrawing their album cover. This is after, so I wanted to start like drawing with a physical tool in my hand instead of uh, drawing, di drawing digitally on my iPad. Um, and this is around that time when that all started. So... Um, these sketches are from Fran's Patreon. So back when I was a patron of Fran. <laughs> uh, and then these are some more doodles that I did. And then I started a 100 day project where I sketched 100 sneakers. So like one um, sneaker a day. So then the all these sketches here, um, I scanned and vectorized using Illustrator and then I took only the Nikes, um, although there are some other, like there's some good vans and, and docks, roller skates, <laughs> um, yeah, in here. And then I made a repeating pattern, which I'll, I'll pop up on the screen. But I finished, uh, I, lo I love these sketches. <laughs> I did all of those in one day, by the way, so that was not 100 days, but it turned into like a 100 sneaker drawing project. Um, this sketch is my favorite of all of them. Not only are they my favorite shoes, which I actually own, <laughs> they are, it's my favorite uh, sketch. Anyway, um, this, is, this is fun to flip through. And I finished this in March, 2021, um, these sketches. So around the time when I started using gouache. Anyway, um, that's the repeating pattern that I made with it. And uh, if anybody is interested in licensing that, <laughs> Uh, hit me up. Uh, okay, on the 24th, we did another art disco on Twitch, and I painted my cat knit um, based off a very cute photo that I took of a very cute cat. <laughs> yeah, for this I used for this I used acrylic ink 
in color pencil and Neocolor 2s. And that's a really fun combination too. So I've been gravitating to that a little bit more than gouache recently. Not that I don't love the gouache combo, but um, I think I'm finally starting to understand how to use the acrylic inks. Um, and it's just, it's pretty fun. On the 25th, I got a new fountain pen. Um, it's a Caveco Sport, and it is a fun pearl color. Um, it's plastic, but it feels really nice, and it's really nice to write with. Um, it does have blue ink in it right now. Um, I just ordered a nice dark green waterproof ink that I'm excited to put in here and then use in with my art. Um, anyway, well, that's a fun. And so I just was sketching, trying to like test out the pen and stuff like that. Um, yeah, <laughs> cute. And then that, uh, after that, I decided to try sketching some people with it. Not as fun of an experience, I would say, as using a brush pen to draw people, but it's a different material that I need to get used to. So I did two more, two more guys um, and this cute little dog because <laughs> I didn't want to draw another person because I was getting tired by that point. Um, the 26th, we had another um, Art Disco live stream and I painted um, this using acrylic ink and color pencil neo color twos and it's of h2 hto park which is just down the street from us and i snapped this photo um on our lunch walk just before the stream so that was kind of fun uh it had just kind of freshly uh snowed and yeah i i don't think i've ever really painted snow before so i hope that comes across here with the nice blue shadows and the footprints and everything um the cloudy winter sky <laughs> and i really wish i didn't put these people in but that's that's for me to live with that regret um on the 27th we are nearing the end of february um this was one of the photos that we used as reference during the art hang party where we drew houses so i think it's yeah so this is the this is the reference um well, this is the two minute drawing that I did of the same reference that I used for this, for this house. I used gouache and color pencil Neo color twos. And then this felt like it was in Scotland. I really have no idea where it is. So I looked up uh, the Scottish coast and found a picture that I thought went quite well with it. And then I um, painted this side. So that's a fun, that's a fun spread. Scotland is uh, quickly coming higher and higher on my travel, <laughs> on my travel wish list, just to like take my watercolor, <laughs> take my watercolors and sit and paint. It just looks so dreamy. Like when I watch like Melanie Chadwick's YouTube, um, I just want to, I just want to be there. <laughs> that's all. That's all. Can I just be there? Um, this painting is of our dog, Simon, uh, based on a photo from Little Cove in Tobomori, Ontario, which is up Georgian Bay area. It's somewhere we go a couple times a year and I use watercolor and some color pencil and I don't, I really don't, I am really not happy <laughs> with how this came out and maybe it's because I didn't put like a heck of a lot of love into it, but yeah I still had a lot of time left on our live stream this was done on a live stream um an art disco so then I decided to have fun um oh my god I lost my words <laughs> so then I decided to sketch a photo um from uh Coney Island uh this is a group of friends that we met uh they're all twitch djs except for that guy is his his son uh, they're all Twitch DJs that we met on online over the last year and have become really good friends. And so, yeah, it was, they, these three were in the stream watching as uh, this picture came to life. <laughs> I think they really had a lot of fun. Um, anyway, um, that is my month of February in art. Uh, what do you think? 
Do you have a favorite? I usually like to go back and, and look over everything and see if I have a favorite. Uh, oh, that was in January. He doesn't count, but he would be a favorite. <laughs> so would Nitty. So would, so would my cat. Yeah, I really like, I really like um, how she came out this month. And what else? There's a, do I need to pick a favorite? <laughs> do, oh, these are good too. All right, I'm going to leave that. What else do I do? Uh, art hangs are fun, but, or this. I love the idea of this, and I do like how it looks. Um, but yes, in terms of favorites, let's just let's just be. In terms of favorites, I'm gonna have to go with my girl Knit here. <laughs> Her sister's name is Pearl, by the way. So, uh, Knit and Pearl. Yeah. So that was my month of February. All of the art that I made. It's a lot. Like. I mean, you, you've seen it, but I have all of these stickies. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, yeah, if you have a favorite piece that I made this month, please let me know. I would love to hear it. If you would like to see me work on any particular style or using a particular medium, um, I would also love to know. I'm totally up for doing like a process video. Um, maybe I'll do a process video of the acrylic ink base with color pencil and neo color. Maybe I'll do that. I feel like that I would like to watch that. So maybe I will do that. But also, um, thank you so much for watching this video. This is my second time saying thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you on Thursdays for Art Hang Party, 7 p.m. Bye.